everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Claudia. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Today I wanna to give you some ideas for hacking Ikea's most popular items. Ikea, in my opinion, has some of the most functional furniture pieces on the market, and they're usually affordable and accessible for a wide range of people. What they do lack a little bit though is style. But luckily there are so many great hacks and tips out there to spruce up your Ikea furniture to make it your own and make it unique. I'm gonna be talking about some of their most popular items today, but if you do want me to do a part two for any other items, leave me a comment and let me know. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it and subscribe to my channel if you are not already. And let's get into it. The first one we have to talk about is to me the epitome of Ikea and that is the Malm dresser. The white oak veneer option they have right now is actually very on trend exactly the way that it is, but maybe you have one that's one of the older versions or it's just kind of that plain white one and you wanna spice it up. Here are some things that you could do. One of the easiest things you can do to these dressers is add hardware. I feel like adding new hardware is kind of like adding jewelry to an outfit. If you have a power drill, you could do this project on Honestly, in like under an hour, you just need to measure out where the hardware should go and drill some holes, put your hardware on and you are done. Pretty hardware can be found from Amazon to Etsy to thrift stores to honestly maybe in your own junk drawer. I will link some hardware I found on Amazon that I think is really nice for dressers in the description box as well. If you wanna go a step further, you can use peel and stick wallpaper or contact paper to cover up the fronts of the drawers or even the entire dresser depending on how ambitious you are. Peel and stick wallpaper and contact paper are super popular right now, so you can honestly find it pretty much anywhere. It comes in all sorts of finishes and patterns to really match any decor. And honestly, I really like this idea because if you get sick of it, you can just peel it off and put something new on it later. If you find it's not sticking super well, you might have to give the dresser a little bit of sanding because some Ikea pieces have that kind of lacquered finish that makes it hard to paint or stick anything onto. My last tip for this one is to paint. And this is the last one because honestly, it isn't super easy to paint Ikea for furniture and it can be pretty time consuming. Some of their pieces do have a painted finish that makes it really easy to just paint over. But if your piece has that smooth, glossy finish, you do need to do some prep work to get a long lasting, durable paint finish. Apartment Therapy actually has a great article on some of the materials you'll need to paint Ikea furniture, as well as the best process to achieving the smoothest look on your piece of furniture. So I will link that article below if you're planning to embark on your Ikea furniture painting journey. Item number two on the list is the Billy Book Case. On Ikea's website, it says it is estimated that every five seconds, one Billy Book Case is sold somewhere in the world. I don't know if that's true, but it's pretty incredible. This bookcase actually comes in so many variations as you can see on their website, which I think lends to its popularity. So let's talk about some ways to spruce them up. If you already have a Billy bookcase and you're kind of looking to spruce it up, the first option is to actually check out Ikea's website for the accessories that go with it. You can actually buy solid or glass doors to give your piece a different look. And there are a lot of ways to spice up the doors similar to the Malm dresser with hardware, with paint, and with peel and stick options. It also looks really cool to just paint or cover the backs of the shelves instead of the whole piece to really give some contrast if the shelves are going to remain open. You can just pull out the shelves and paint or cover the back and then put the shelves right back in for another really quick and easy transformation that isn't going to take too much time. If you really wanna take this to the next level, I'd like to introduce you to pull wrap. This is pricier, but this paneled, you know, fluted wood look is so popular right now. If you covered the outside of your bookcase in this, it would look like you bought it from CB2 or West Elm. Arc Digest actually did a cool segment on their YouTube channel where they had two designers completely transform Billy bookshelves. And while these designers did really like advanced designs, 
and you know we're using power tools one of the designers lone fox used the pull wrap hack and it looked so cool so i'll link that video in the description box as well if you want to check it out item number three is the calyx shelving unit this one also comes in a ton of different options and with a ton of different accessories so you can do this one sideways vertical there are some square options you can put multiple next to one another it's an incredibly versatile piece it's just honestly in my opinion not that visually interesting so let's start with some of the ikea accessories for this unit if it's one that you already have so you can actually get a base for these now which is new and i think it's so cool because before they just would sit directly on the floor so now you can actually pick up a base for them for 25 dollars. and honestly you could paint it gold or chrome or black or whatever color you want to either match your unit or make the base a cool statement. You can also get some really pretty baskets, which not only provide visual interest, but they also hide clutter. So you can really use these cubbies to their full potential. One of the coolest options I think they have actually are these inserts with a little door. So it becomes a little cabinet. And again, you can change the hardware on these doors. You can paint them, you can cover them up and have a really pretty storage solution where you can't see the clutter. If you're really crafty and good with power tools, you can actually create doors for these units, which I have seen other people do. I will link another apartment therapy article below for some inspiration if you do want to kind of dabble in creating doors for the entire piece. Another option is to actually add table height legs to the piece to make it more of a console type situation. You can mount these to the walls, but if you're, you know, renting or just aren't comfortable with mounting something on your wall, the legs would be a great option if you needed extra height. The last item I want to talk about today is the Alex drawers. I have two of these and I'm actually planning on doing one of these hacks to them soon. So if you're interested in seeing that, let me know. But my first hack is for the drawers. Since in my opinion, I don't really like the look of this dip in the front here. So honestly, this is something that I think you might need power tools to achieve. But I just think the fronts look so much better just straight across than with the dip like this in the front. And then you could actually add hardware to them to make it look even more custom. My second hack is just to paint these. They do not come in that many colors. The colors are very basic, so if you wanted to kind of customize it, spruce it up, I think that paint could go a long way on these. Just make sure that you prep them properly. So that's it for today. I hope this video gave you some inspiration to spruce up some of your IKEA pieces. Honestly, one of the things that I love so much about IKEA furniture is that you can always find it secondhand on Facebook Marketplace. And even if it's kind of beat up, you can definitely bring it back to life and likely make it even better. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.